Electric cars are not clean. Building an electric car produces carbon dioxide. They may not put out gases such as CO2 or nitrogen oxide through an exhaust like a petrol or diesel car, but they still affect the environment. During their life, the batteries produce toxic fumes and at the end they have to be disposed of. Running an electric car creates more CO2 than 15 and a half years of electricity use of the average UK home. The electricity has to be generated. Even wind turbines create CO2 in their manufacture. And that means the rest coming from fossil fuel power stations or nuclear. If you really want to be clean, get rid of your car and walk. But even then, you're still producing CO2. And Alan is here to debate his arguments with Fiona Howarth, who is Chief Executive of Octopus Electrical Vehicles. Thank you both for joining us this evening. Alan, you're a total petrohead and you've just got it in for electric cars, haven't you? No, not at all. No, I, it may seem strange that as a motoring journalist, I'm advising people to give up their cars or not drive. Uh, what worries me is that people are being conned into uh, thinking they're going to save the planet by buying an electric car. They're not. And, and what particularly annoys me is people who almost uh, parade their environmental credentials like a badge with the cars with environmentally friendly, emissions free, all this sort of stuff. And it's nonsense because, OK, yes, I accept that electric cars are more environmentally friendly than conventional uh, 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 piston engine cars, but they're still not clean. And that's the argument that I would have, that they're not clean and people are being okay. conned into believing okay. they are. Okay, Fiona, quite a few points to pick up on there, but you're conning people into thinking they're saving the planet when they're not. Well, Rona, um, thanks for having me for a start. And I would actually agree that if you can, you should walk and cycle, absolutely. But I think if you are going to drive, then we would say do it, take electric. And and that's, that's really important. I think with Alan's point where saying that the electric cars are better than petrol or diesel cars is absolutely correct. And actually it shows, research shows that electric cars generate 30% less emissions than petrol or diesels in a general UK energy supply. And actually an energy supply where it's high levels of low carbon technology, such as in Scotland, it's more like 70% savings on those carbon emissions. So actually just shifting from a petrol diesel car to an electric car in Scotland can make a huge impact. Okay, Alan, what's your response to that? It does make a difference. Well, Fiona is very carefully avoiding things uh, or issues like the batteries in a car, the, the, the raw materials, the, the minerals that are used to create the batteries, and the, the horrendous conditions under which some of these minerals are mined in South America and in Africa, uh, uh, under appalling conditions, and they are coming out of the environment. They're, they're being used to produce the batteries. The batteries themselves are environmentally unfriendly. So you're, you're, you are carefully ignoring that you're talking about emissions which is absolutely right. Well let Fiona respond to that about the batteries and, and th them not being environmentally friendly I mean is there progress being made on that? Yeah so I think there's three things that we should consider there one is the the challenge there that they need to just be thrown away at the end of life actually the reality is that in the first instance they can be reused and recycled so they can be used initially there are being uh, demonstrations and being used for home batteries for example or other stationary batteries to help us balance the grid as we have more and more wind generation, for example, at times when we don't need to use it. And then the next stage is actually, it looks like they're going to be more reused in cars themselves. So the car manufacturers are on the hook actually to reuse and recycle these batteries themselves. And Tesla have actually suggested that within 10 years, we'll see all of those batteries being reused in more car batteries themselves as they are recycled and reused. But, but and Fiona, I think Fiona you, must, you must agree it'd be better not to produce the batteries at all, not use oh. these raw materials. I mean, if you can walk and cycle, absolutely, we recommend doing that. In fact, I've got a, a scooter. I scoot to school with my kids, and uh, and we, we have a lot of fun doing that. And those kind of journeys are absolutely possible to do that. But the reality is we've been living with cars and automobiles for over 100 years, and we don't live in communities where we just have our friends and family down the road. As lockdowns start to lift, we'll be looking to see those friends and families that might be, you know, parents in Edinburgh, family mm. in East Wide, friends in Aberdeen, 
and actually the reality is that we want to see them and want to go out and it's unrealistic to think that people are going to stop using the car overnight. Uh, okay, Alan, did you go? No, but, 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 well, let me take Mazda, for example, a huge Japanese company producing millions of cars. They, ha they haven't gone down the electric or hybrid route at all. What they've said is, Petrol and diesel cars are going to be with us, with us for many years to come. So rather than indulge in a new technology, a new method of propulsion, let's make what we've get, got at the moment a lot better. And that's why they're producing really efficient petrol and diesel cars. Should we go, be going down that route, making these cars cleaner, Fiona? We've been doing that route for the last 120 years, and we have optimised huge amounts of the petrol and diesel car manufacturing and the way that they operate on our roads and still they're really bad. We are at the very early stages of the product development cycle for electric cars. No, no, and so no, actually no. we are rapidly seeing developments in terms of the way that they're oh. made. For example, cobalt is one of the key minerals, I think, that you're probably suggesting. Yes, that's right, yeah. Yeah, and actually the majority of that comes from modern developed countries and actually is used in our laptops and mobile phones. So if we're going to stop using okay. that, then we'd have to stop using all of those things as well. And actually we look. it looks like they're also going to be uh, no longer used in batteries, right. so Tesla again Ve expect All right, to be very quick final word to, to Alan. Would you drive one then, Alan? Uh, no, no, <laughs> I wouldn't. No, I, I, would, I would hold on to an older car, which is actually very efficient. It's used up all its, or it's created all the CO2 and, and it's going to create. And you'll drive it to death. And I'll okay. drive it to death. We'll that's, have to leave it there. The Great way. chat. Fiona, thanks for joining us and Alan. Thank you.